Welcome back to another video of Supermarket Simulator. Anyway, let's play. Are we going to open up our, for the day? Still have a ton of boxes here. Um, we're trying to sort this out, though. If you guys missed the previous episode, I installed a mod that will help us rack our shelves. And when I clicked it, everything got dislabeled. Everything. And it bought... $20,000 worth of stock. It just fell from the sky and it never stopped. There was the biggest pile of boxes ever. And I had to throw away most of the items. Well, 99% of them. Um, I had to rebuy stock again. And the thing is, I love buying stock in double. But sometimes these guys are like, nah, maybe I don't want to do it. And then... Yeah, it becomes a problem. So what I ended up doing was I installed another mod. Uh, you can see at the bottom left corner here, there's a tick, mark, uh, tick box. Um, it will be automatic storage. So if I add an item, uh, we're going to pay extra money to get, it, uh, to get storage done. So it makes it fair, right? Uh, let's see. You can see there's, there's 47. So if I click on... If I buy one right now, we pay $1 storage, but you'll see it's instantly inside that slot. So it's pretty cool. I would rather pay that extra money and get that sorted out as soon as possible. Other than that, we're also using a mod where people get experience. And once they get to max level for that, you know, we can actually improve their pay. We can pay them more and they become more efficient. Like, this guy is level 22. Look how fast he is. But we pay him double the amount already, so... We're gonna slowly but surely level up this guy as soon as we can. But you can also pay money to get them leveled up, but it's really expensive. It's roughly $2 per one experience. So right here, it's about, what, 300, let's say 300 experience. It will cost me $600 to just get him to level 23. But every level he gets faster. Um, and then every 10 levels, you can level him up. And he will just uh, go faster, faster and faster. So I honestly think we can potentially just have this one dude run this whole store if he's fast enough. He's already scanning as fast as I am. Like somewhat. I wonder how expensive it will become once we uh, once we get to that level that he scans as fast as we can. But yeah, we have boxes everywhere. Uh, these boxes will need to get removed. Uh, let's just double check and make sure that they are oh, not management. Uh, yeah, management. Hiring. Okay, they're working and use labels is off. So once it runs empty here, we'll just remove the label. I wonder why this guy is just staying there. We got work to do, my friend. So yeah, we're going to level up this guy and most probably one of the uh, stock takers as well. He's level 14 already. You can see him carrying two boxes here like a boss. Restocking. I don't know what he restocked, but he did. Restocking faster. So 
So we must probably will level up this guy every time we can. Just want to show you guys over here. Uh, if you go to training, you, can, you see this bar here. So my cash here right now is metal, right? Metal is green. So once that thing falls up, which is most probably level... I don't even know what. Level 25, maybe? Uh, the next one unlocks. And then we can get advanced. Now, I don't know what happens in advanced, uh, but maybe he starts scanning two items every, every time. I don't know. We'll see what happens, dude. But I think this is a pretty cool mod, if you ask me. Uh, when he was level 1, he was twice as slow as, as self-checkout. Uh, self and the goal is to make him run the whole store every day. But he needs to be twice as fast at the very least. Uh, the reason why we're using the restocker or um, auto stock mod is because sometimes when the guys with this mod, right, with the level, you can see the level above their head, with that mod, sometimes they just stand and like glitch out on one of the products uh, like this, exactly the way. Um, so the only way to fix him is to pick up the product he's stuck on. And then he starts moving again. So I think what happens there is he wants to pick up all the products. Um, but he can't carry that weight yet. Like, I think at higher level he will be able to. So that's apple juice, yeah. Because I'd rather say, like, we're, we're out of orange juice. But we'll do stock taking soon. Who knows, maybe at pro level, he just one-shots everything through. Like, boom, done, you know? So he went to level 23 now. So every item he scans give 1 XP, and every uh, checkout gives 2 XP. And like I said, you can pay $2 per 1 XP if you want to uh, buy him up, but I'm not going to do that. These two are standing in queue, but there's... The main dude is not there yet. It's kind of weird. So we'll try and look for these cool different mods as well then. As we play the game. Um, simulation games. Because after this we're going to play... Well, I'm going to finish a TCG. A card shop simulator. And I don't know if there's cool mods like this yet. Where your cashier... Or your restocker can get experience. That would be pretty cool, actually. Because even the fastest guy is not that fast. Uh, the cashier. And it's not like we're cheating, right? You can either just get the experience and buy it up. That guy is like... Dude, he's even carrying a small box on top of... This guy, bro. <laughs> Imagine this thing at level fucking 40, dude. Oh my goodness. He's gonna carry boxes that goes through the roof. Imagine this guy, how fast he would be at level 40. I think that's the last client. Just want to double check. But I think it is the case. He 
Yep. Also, the high-level dudes will not stand here and say Marak is full. He would actually drop the item. I think. But look at that, dude. He's carrying four boxes right now. <laughs> That's ridiculous, dude. Products found expensive is four. Mayonnaise went up, but we have a mod that runs that automatically as well. Okay, let's uh, restock here. Let's see what this guy has to say first. Is he throwing away old boxes? Uh, three. Okay, let us uh, restock. Can't find a good restock mod. Um, and this consumes quite a bit of the day, actually. But it's pretty much the only thing we do, so I guess... Everything else is automated. That's toilet paper. Okay, hand soap. Now we need shampoo. Uh, shampoo. That's it there. So, yeah, we can buy two bags of potato. Potato, then eggs. Um, not too sure what that is, but it's above ketchup. Small sushi. So chips. Okay, it's just that chips, actually. No, that's the wrong one. This one and this one. Yeah, that's it. So we restock for the day. Let's continue, baby. Oh, the level 15 guy is like, okay, inventory is full. Might be coffee. All three of them is like, no, 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 we can't work anymore. Is it because I'm overstocking? Fine. You know what? We'll put it off for the others. We just want our level 15 dude to not stop. Everyone else will stop, okay? This guy is not on the speed yet for me to take away the self uh, checkout. But I can see it happening. I can see it happening. It will cost us like $600 per day to have one guy. Because yeah, their daily wage goes up if they go to the next level. And you have to pay them the wage every every morning. But yeah, I know the restocker, they would walk 20 kilometers per hour. And they would carry, I think, about 60 kilograms worth of weight. 
Um, so I guess every box have a different weight. Me, this is very interesting. I wonder what max level is, though. Because I, I honestly thought max level was four. But that's not the case. Not even close. Oh, by the way, we have another mod enabled where every time he checks out someone, it counts towards me checking it out. Um, so that's pretty cool. Dude, we have way too many customers at checkout right now. The checkouts are full. Yeah, maybe I should buy an upgrade for this guy. Should we just do it, dude? Being a bit stuck there, my buddy. Let's upgrade our cashier. $3,000. 500 approve. Wait. Unlock the higher grade. His daily wage will become 500? No, no. It's increased by, by 140. Okay, so let's see. Dude, it's like 5% faster, and it costs us like 8k. So honestly, I think we shouldn't buy experience. We should just earn it, right? It's not worth buying the XP. It's worth increasing the wage. Because... Otherwise, what will happen is it's the same with the other um, stock taker. So you can see he's level 9. And he's 1,300 experience out of 300. So I don't know if I upgrade him. Will he just go instantly like up three levels? I'm not sure. We also have another mod at 6 p.m. our lights get switched on automatically. Yeah, it's roughly 2x faster now than self-checkout. Kinda wish I used this mod from the beginning. It's, it's really, really cool. Who knows, by now his XP would have been so high that we didn't even have to get that self-checkout at the back there. And we might only needed one uh, one guy also to to restock.
All of this that we're using is just quality of life uh, mods. There's another one I might actually get. Um, when you have a box in your hand and you put it down, um, and there's already stuff there, uh, it will automatically merge if they can combine. So for example, if you have two boxes that has five stock inside the box, and the total box can hold up to ten, those two boxes will merge and become one, if that makes sense. Still not scanning as fast as us. That's a lot of toilet paper, goodness. She shits for the A-team, dude. Pretty fast, I love it. Gonna try my best to only have one checkout guy. Every means necessary. Oh man, my high level dude is glitched again. Stop it. Oh, there's more clients? I was about to end the day. That, that should be the last one, though. Okay, let's end the day here. Three people think uh, some, some stuff is overpriced? No problem. Bills paid automatically. Star, $520, dude. Goodness. I'm gonna just be AFK for a second. Let them restock stuff, reshelf, and I, I'll then stock take. Okay. Should be a good enough, Mamri. Okay, add a card, add a card. Add. Water. And flower. Okay, then getting pasta, soda, more soda, we'll buy rice, and that should be this one done. This is number two done. Then we need spray, some cleaner, uh, sure, we'll get some eight eggs, eight eggs, and then the cereal and sugar, and we'll get some chicken. Do we need potato bags? Yeah, we can get two potato bags. Two potato bags. Um, so, pasta and sugar. Pasta, sugar. And then below sugar. So salmon, uh, 
and sushi. Large. Uh, then we're gonna get this hot sauce. Uh, chips, hummus, and vodka. Uh, small bread. Uh, dark cleaner, I believe, right? Yeah, and soap. So I think that's restocking completely. Uh, we just want to make sure we have... Okay, we have quite a bit of them, but we'll just buy two more. Bleach. Okay, so items cost more money because... I don't know if I need to buy it. Item costs more money because, like, we instantly put them on the shelf and it costs extra money. Should we just buy it underneath... Right underneath the new T. So, for example, if I buy here, just an example, it costs 200. My storage will cost me extra $2. So, it costs me, like, I don't even know, roughly about an extra $50 or so. Let's, um... You know, I think if we fire the rest and just have Worker 4, just for now, let's just see how it goes. If Worker 4 does everything. Because he is our big daddy, Restalker, right? He's uh, he's the level leveled up dude. So let's see if the level 16 can handle this whole store by himself. Because like he moves faster already, he's carrying more than one item on average. I think my job would be is to, oh, what is that? Oh, it's more expensive something. Yeah, sorry man, like I don't know how to edit this mod, I really don't. This mod is like making it round and plus 10%. So some items might be way overpriced. I would just make, uh, like, if I can edit this mod somehow, I would just make it market value. That's it. All items remain market value at all times. But I think we can run a whole store with just two workers with us. Now, obviously, they will cost as much. Okay, you're the wrong guy. Bulls hiring. Working. You're the wrong guy, Barbary. Uh, which is the right guy, then? Management hiring. Well, I can't see it like that. Training. Can't see it like that either. So let's say working. Who is working? No one? Level 16. There you go, buddy. So it's our first worker. So we're going to test out this guy. Uh, check how it goes. If he can manage the shop by himself. If he does... We can most probably get rid of the rest. I, I hired more people uh, because I was sad about the boxes outside. Um, and I, I want a stock take, but I can't because there's like 50 boxes outside. And then with my luck, the guy just stands there and be like, oh, um, I can't do anything now because my hands is full. With this guy, he already moves faster. He's carrying more than one box. 
And also now we auto uh, auto put it in our sh uh, storage. And yeah, we pay for a service for it, but still. Maybe now we can get less people working, but pay this guy more, if that makes sense. And the thing is, it's only going to be faster and faster the more we pay him. Same with this guy. So we'll test it out a few days, if, whether he's falling behind or not, we'll see. Because I honestly think it will be fine. Look at all those boxes, bro. <laughs> oh my goodness. He's carrying like three different chickens right now, I think. He's most probably going to throw away two boxes. I honestly don't know if he can just solo this uh, shop. Imagine you see one teller at a at a supermarket, dude. A one, only one person, one one person behind the counter, and there's like a hundred people inside the shop, and he stands there and he's like, "Bring it on, bitch." <laughs> and when you put the put down your stuff, it's one shot scan, boom, and. Uh, Grabs the money out of your hand and just throws it in the counter and close it and says, fuck off. Next. Because <laughs> that's what's going to happen here, I think. This guy will become god here insane. Yeah, people are complaining that uh, the queue is full. Rather full, but we navigate the experience to where it should be. Same with this guy. That's why I only want him to work, because he's going to get more experience, right? And the more experience he gets, the, the faster I can level him up, the faster I can level him up, the more experience he gets. It's a never-ending cycle loop of good stuff. This guy is just standing there because both is full. I don't know. I, dude, I honestly, I wish I played with this mod from the beginning. There's so many people complaining that the checkouts is full. I wonder what they will do. This guy is almost leveling up, dude. I mean, how how fast would you work if your like your only job at a supermarket is uh, being a, the teller, right? And they say I would give you four hundred dollars a day as a teller. He leveled up again, so in theory, you should be like another percentage or five faster.
Really, only one item. It's kind of like a mess, though. But the experience goes up real fast. But I can't imagine what his experience would be if we used it from the beginning. With these mods I have right now, I can I can potentially speedrun this game now. I think. If that's even a thing. <laughs> it won't count though because it's it's modded. But yeah, it would be so long still to get to the final stages. Dude, he's carrying four boxes now. Jeez, dude. Easy to keep track of where he is. <laughs> oh, dude, it's so cool. It's honestly so cool. I think this is a pretty awesome mod. I think this guy can solo it, dude. Honestly? In all honesty, I think he can solo this. And if not, he will be able to do soon. Uh, we can save money. Like, we can save... Uh, quite a lot of money, dude. 150, that's 250, that's $350 a day. We can save by firing the other dudes. I'm gonna do it. We have one guy. The only restocker we need, dude. I think. He's falling behind. But like like I said, he will he will get faster with time. Because everything he does give experience. So if he works alone, he will become god tier. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so we'll end the day there. Two products found expensive, that's unfortunate. And maybe the stuff that is not shelved efficiently, like, you know, let's say uh, spaghetti. Maybe it's out of stock anyway, so he couldn't have shelved it anyway. It's not out of stock. <laughs> People get faster, guys. Don't worry about it. I don't worry about it. It would have been really fast already if, if we used it from the get-go. He's grabbing the spaghetti now. So we shouldn't use that then. Let's get let's go all the way down to tuna. So tuna. And then chicken. Yeah, we need we need so much chicken, dude. We'll buy six. Is there any boxes outside now? No. So the chicken racks should be filled. Yeah. You grab two chickens. Did you, is that four boxes? I think there's one that's through the roof. One, two, th yeah, that's four big box. Well, three big ones and one small one. Oh my goodness, bro! Hey, we just bought chicken. So whatever is next to, I think it's steak. 
Sushi large. Sushi large, then bleach, the new bleach. Uh, the new toilet paper, we need quite a bit of it. Uh, four should be fine. And then a cleaner. Might be one box outside, yeah, because we don't have cleaner racks. So we'll just do it like this. Okay, stock taking is done, I believe. Let's get some cheese. Uh, this cheese. I'll buy two more. And then two six pack mooks. Okay, done. Let's start the next day. Now, obviously, the counters uh, would still be fold. Oh, my goodness. Bro, I, I honestly wonder if you can upkeep. Dude. Almost nothing is fold. Maybe one is not enough. If it's not, I don't know, we might... Dude, I don't know. I, I don't think it's going to go to zero. Like, it's not going to let that happen. Right, because of priority lists, how it works. But like, it's going to really be... Uh, it's going to be tight, let's just, let's just say that. But overall, I think he will be able to manage it soon. And when he's about to be able to manage it, he's going to, uh, <laughs> we're getting new licenses. So yeah, it's up to you whether you have four workers um, at a decent pace or do you want one worker that's god tier. I honestly want to opt in for the god tier one and see what the high end looks like. What like $500 a day would look like on one guy instead of $400 for four different people. Because it kind of looks insane already, if you think about it. He's doing literally four people's work right now, and I'm paying him double, right? We're paying him for two people's work. This guy is the same, we're paying him double at the moment, I think. Is it double? Uh, no, it's it's triple. I think it, that's how it works. Daily wage is 140. What is it's not double? It's it's 40% more. It's 40% more. So maybe the high end will be double the pay. I don't know. But we're saving $350 by firing the other guys, right?
I just think this is a pretty awesome system. In all honesty, I think this is really cool. I hope there's a level up system also in the TCG card game, because I, I, I will go look around for mods, quality of life mods, see what there is, and then start using them. Like, I don't consider this cheating, I just think it's pretty cool. Holy dude. Wow, all three thrown away. He gets experience for throwing away boxes as well. Uh, every racking gives XP, uh, every throw away of a box. And also if he takes a box from outside inwards, but we were paying a service for that, so he's not going to do that. I will, I will try and remove that, you know, auto racking thing, uh, or just just turn it off. If uh, if he actually starts picking up the double items I buy, because I I always buy in double, always. Automatic light switch, a We can buy double bleach. Don't know what that is. Is that pizza? No, it's not pizza. It's french fries. Uh, let's let's turn off the racking thing just to test this out. Test out and see if he's actually gonna rack it or is he gonna glitch out? Because you know. Like, experience is experience, bro. Okay, time. Time reached. So, cleaner. And toilet paper. He's not glitching. Goodness, bro. Just remember, every time he levels up, he walks faster. The items coming out of his hand also is faster. Um, and he can carry more weight. So I don't know, at level... I don't know how high you could go. I assume level 40. Like, just imagine how fast he's gonna walk, dude. How much weight he can carry. <laughs> carry the whole shop and be like, okay, I walk once, dude. I walk once, bro. He deadlifts every day like a boss. No, you chose poorly, girl. 
We need experience this way, this side. No, guy. Come on, guys. Don't make me remove that one and just be like, I don't care if the place is full anymore. We need to get this guy leveled up right now, today. Okay, I think that's the last client. Let's double check. Yeah, there's no one else here. Dude, he's not glitching, so it's better for us to do it this way then. Because he gets extra experience for going from the outside in. And I love the fact that he's using only this rack to put up stuff. That's also pretty neat. Products found expensive. Well, go complain at the mod creator, not at me. So it says 250 spent on staff, but it's more, right? Um, it doesn't show here. Yeah, so it says 250, but you can see the wage for the cashier is 100 here. And 110 for the daily stalker. So it should be 220, but it was higher. It was 250. So the cashier takes $140 right now. And uh, the restocker is not even on green yet. I mean, I can level him up right here. Instead of upgrading the store. It might be a good idea. We upgrade him. He's going to run faster, carry more. Uh, let's do it. That's a lot of money, dude. Unlock the new grade, approve. Maybe that was way too much money spent. But now he's level 25. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so let's get milk. Let's just buy all our products. Maybe I should have shelved it. I think we bought cleaner. Look how fast he's moving now, dude. Holy crap. He's walking as fast as me, just not sprinting, but walking. Yeah, this is really nice. Yeah, I, let's let's test out two god tier creators or <laughs> creators, two god tier workers. Like how well they can manage a store. In all honesty, I think we could just start the next day. We'll just have to keep on looking. Oh, come on. What the heck? We just have to keep an eye on some products, I think. What? What? Does his racking distance also increase? Holy bro. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is it six boxes in total? Or is it five? 
One, two, three, four. It's five, it's five. I think he stood there and wrecked us. Someone is grabbing this from there? Maybe... Maybe this shelf is glitched or this one. I don't know. Infinite grab distance. They don't want to walk until here. Why would you walk if you could just grab it from far away, dude? I think if we did this from the beginning... Oh no. Yeah, so we're gonna keep on the insta racks because I can't afford a glitch like that if I only have one worker. How far away is the guy from the queue, man? Goodness. Hopefully fix that soon. And it's because I buy two items at a time. He tries to pick up both, but for some reason it doesn't work every time. Holy... <laughs> this guy is about to level up as well. Flower is too expensive. Well, I gotta pay my god tier workers somehow, dude.
How's he doing? Still running. I mean, the stock is running decently low everywhere, dude. And we still have so many people in the shop. How many boxes is outside? Quite a bit, actually. Yeah, we're not gonna do the outside thing anymore. It's hard to uh, stock take and all these things. You need to grab bread as well, bro. I don't know where it goes. I don't know the shop anymore. I really don't. Dude, it looks so weird. Oh my goodness. It looks so weird. But yeah, we spend more money on both our workers so far than anyone else would playing this game without mods. Like, I've spent almost... 20,000 on this guy and about 10,000 on the other guy. Just upgrading them. Watch, next patch comes out and all of a sudden the level 1 again. I would, I would quit the game, dude, honestly. All my work for nothing. So much faster, dude. Hey, girl. Wanna clean my house? I think that was everyone. toilet paper dude the shelves is looking empty bro maybe one is not enough and not maybe one is not enough it it's just not it could be because he got glitched a few times, but I, we're so far behind, bro. Like, everything is just really far behind. The shelves is running dry. 
We might just have to get a one more. But I, 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 like I said before, I, I wish I used this mod from the beginning. Like, I can't imagine where they would be right now. Um... But yeah, like almost all our shells is kind of like empty. So uh, we'll end the day here. We'll have to unfortunately get another worker, like at least just one. Um, there's no way around it. So we will hire again. Uh, working, yes. So he's still level 9. So if you hire the guy back, he's still level 9. So the thing is, we can also just AFK for long and then, you know, get him. To restock the whole place, but. I, I think in all honesty, like, that's a waste of time, right? We'll just get at least one extra worker, and then hopefully it will help. I mean, this guy is also carrying two every now and then, so... Maybe two workers is good enough. But yeah, I'll give it a few minutes, um, and then I'll do stock taking, and I'll catch you guys then. I'm not gonna lie, dude, it's been like a half an hour, and, uh, this guy is still running around. Oh, finally he stopped. He's like, okay. He just wanted me to complain about... <laughs> oh my goodness, dude. So, maybe two is not even enough. We'll see, we'll see. We'll see how things go. Oh, I... Uh, Glitched. You know what they say, 12th time lucky. Okay, I should, I should take that for sure. Has anybody got time for that? Okay, so we got we can buy cheese milk. Cheese milk. Peanut butter. Uh flour. And we'll just buy olive oil because why not? Okay. Um, next on the list is going to be pasta, rice, and salt. Uh, orange juice. And apple juice. Six pack milk, soda. Uh, red cake and candy. And cereal. Okay, hand soap. Uh, shampoo. Oh, we're looking on toilet paper. Uh, toilet paper. 
You see, if there's a box outside, I'm pretty sure it was filled. I'm pretty sure um, it was full on the rack. So after toilet paper, we get both cheese. We can get honey also. Get some tuna. No, we don't need tuna. Get some eggs and sugar. So then it's butter. Sure, we can get butter. Do we need chicken? We do need chicken. So we'll get chicken. Okay, do we need potatoes? Yeah. We'll get some potatoes. French fries, pizza we have. So coffee, bottled water, and uh, the blue one. Then we need 12 eggs and sugar. Uh, salmon. And sushi. Okay, the other sushi. Crab steaks. Crab steaks. Hot sauce. Ketchup. Beer. Both small beers. Ale and lager. Okay, we want chips and vodka. And the other chips. Here we have flour. We want the cleaning product. Oh, that's pepper, sorry. Pepper. Small sandwich. Small sandwich. Uh, the new spray. Um, sugar powdered. Sugar powdered. And the new toilet paper. Okay, that's the new stock deck, dude. Should be done. I uh, will buy the new bleach also. Goodness, bro. Why are we almost out of money? Get more bottled water. Get more pasta. Peanut butter and spaghetti. Orange juice. Uh, white cake. Or white cheese. And shampoo. Not putting it there. Wow, dude. I can't believe like how low we are in cash. It's insane to me. I honestly hope it's not because, you know, we're paying for a, a, a fee <laughs> to get the stuff in here. But we did upgrade our, our stock taker quite a lot. 
Uh, but he needs some help at the moment. I mean, I was AFK for like at least 15 minutes. I took a whole dump and came back and he was still busy. That was crazy. Too much information? I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. My bad. He was standing here, and he grabbed hand sanitizer, just by the way. Come on, make this guy go beep, 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 beep. Come on, people. Not beep, beep. I said beep, 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 beep. Thank you, girl. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, they're standing around. So I guess they were done stock taking then. Or putting in the new stuff. So we're like perfect on stock then. But yeah, he was very far behind on stock taker. So two might be overkill, but I think it just needs that extra little help right now. What's this one purchases, dude? So by the way, I looked through the, the TGC um, mods also. The only good mods that I find... There's a lot of cheat mods, let's just be honest. But the only good mods that I installed that I'm going to use is the auto light switch on at 6 p.m. And uh, uh, the price has changed to, to value. Uh, so it's stock, it's, it's market price, 10% and round. Every day it will do that. Uh, every morning it will do that automatically. So that's the only two that I'm going to use. Um, it's both quality of life stuff. There is there is a mod that I could pay someone more wage by making them a fast toddler. But I would, I would prefer something like this with experience, you know, like slowly but surely they're getting there. And you don't want to fire your workers because like they get exponentially better the more time that progresses. I honestly think that's the better way to go. Uh, so if that is, if there's no mod like that, I'm not gonna edit my workers then. I'd rather get two cashiers. And the cool thing about that mod also is you you make people not walk away at 9 p.m., which is a cool quality of life thing as well. But I'm not gonna install a mod like that. Um, I'd rather just play with the regular speed. But this is this is completely different for me because I pay for a service and I can I can dump in a lot of money to make this guy insanely fast. Um or I could just like get him to work as much as he can, right? And he would become fast himself as long as I as long as I'm willing to pay more. But with the other one, I can pay the guy $1 a day. You can edit the thing. And you can make him god tier speed. 
because you can edit everything like how much you pay him per day how much you uh now that i think of it I, there's another mod i actually want um the automatically pay bills because that's something you don't do in this game you don't have to pay your bills at all it automatically like there's a two day period and then on the third day you pay three days ago because that's the expiration date so you don't have to pay your bills at all. It automatically goes off after the third day. From then on forward. Um, which, which is cool. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see how things go, man. I think this experience thing is really, really cool. Something that I think should have been in the game. <laughs> In the base game. Because it's somewhat like, uh, okay, that guy is a bit crazy, <laughs> the stock decker guy. <laughs> but it does make sense to some extent, right? If you're willing to pay someone more, they're willing to work harder. But the stock taking guy is absolutely insane. And we're still falling behind. I don't want to put in another self counter thingy because. He's going to get so much less clients if we do. Why is there so many people in the store, dude? so fast but they're f they're still behind we just have way too many clients for that low level to to make a dent You know, I am considering it to restart with all these mods, but I'm not going to do that. We just have too many games to cover. But I think it would be so cool having these dudes from the beginning. What level they would have been by now would be absolutely insane. Okay, it looks like it's all, right? That was such a long day. My goodness. Products found expensive. There's nothing I can do. So, rice is down. Don't have to care about that anymore. That's just so cool. <laughs> such cool thing. Such cool features. So, we'll just keep on stock taking. You know, there's a cool mod that I 
wishes in this game. And I honestly don't know why it's not in this game, though. Is if you open up your shop, you can actually see how much stock you have of a specific item on this screen. Now, why won't I use it in TCG? Because I don't do stock taking. I have boxes everywhere and that, that is my stock taking. French fry and pizza? Oh, you just put them back. Fries and pizza. It needs to be one box each. Okay, we'll add the red, the blue, the eggs. We have enough sugar. So, veal chop. A uh, new pizza. We can buy the right side beer. The new powder. A new flour. And some mashed potatoes. We have rice. Rice, new bread, and bleach. But do we have enough? Eh, we can get, we can get two. That's fine. Cleaner product. Sure. And some soap. And dishwasher tablet. Bro, it feels like we're barely making any money. And by the way, in real time right now, my parents only arrived at my brother. Um, so that's how long I've been playing today, right? They couldn't get on two planes that went from Brisbane to... Sorry, went from Sydney to Brisbane in Australia. Um, so my brother eventually bought a ticket for my parents. Because my, my dad worked for an airport in South Africa. So he gets like standby tickets, right? So if no one if no one gets on the plane that bought a ticket, they he gets the seat, if that makes sense. So when you go when you go to the airport, you you're hoping that people can't make it. So both both planes that went from uh, Sydney to Brisbane was full. There was no seats open. So my parents spent almost six hours on the airport. And then my brother was like, well, he can't wait longer. He has to go to sleep because he's working, right? So he's going to buy a ticket and his wife is going to go pick them up at the airport uh, while he's getting his sleep. So my, my parents is finally in Brisbane airport. Um, Maybe there are at home already, but yeah, it's absolutely insane. So my parents, both of them were sleeping on a bench in Sydney. And the security guard came and shunt them away and said, you can't sleep here. And it doesn't matter if you have tickets and waiting for it, like you're not allowed to sleep here. So either get off the premises or don't sleep. <laughs> What, what else are you going to do, bro? Like, if you're tired and you're 60 years old, you know, like you're going to sleep. It's, it's been a long day for them.
almost level 53. We, dude, it, it's been a while since we actually got a new product, right? I, I think we shouldn't focus that much on experience. Like, we, we should prioritize it, but we shouldn't bend over backwards and spend all our money, you know, to, to make something like this uh, work. It's gonna work. Uh, it's gonna work regardless, so we just need to save our money and spend it on product license and one step closer to finishing the game. That's that's honestly what I think we should focus on. It's a lot of pink for a guy, bro. Goodness. Look at that, even that. Huh? What are you doing? Buying pink yogurt, uh strawberry. I mean I also love the color pink. My chair is pink. It's a, it's like a racing chair, but it's actually a PC chair, right? It's a bucket seat PC chair. Someone's complaining about items being too expensive. I mean, if I could fix it, I would just make everything market price. But yeah, this mod this mod is actually made for if you're going to be behind the counter because it's rounding it as as well to the closest dollar or fifty cents. And I think it only rounds up. It does. It never rounds down. It's market price ten percent round up. So it's supposed to make us the most amount of like money uh, per product per day. And sanitizer and and the tablets running a bit low, Mabri. Like what's happening? And toilet paper. That's all right, dude. We got this. It's going to need to scan 1,055 items for the next level. That's, that's a bit sad. That is so much products, dude. <laughs> Goodness. Well, it's going to happen passively over time, right? So they would surely... Like, he's so much faster than the self-checkout now. At level 1, he was... Twice as slow, bro. Twice as slow as self-checkout. That was insane.
What's the other mod that I said I wanted to use on TCG Shop Simulator? I, I actually forgot. The only two I have is the light switch and the auto... Um, the auto price. Uh, I forgot the third one. I might actually install the mod where you can edit your workers just to make my cashier not leave at freaking nine. Because, like, even if there's a queue, he's like, no, bruh, it's nine o'clock, I'm leaving. And that's so annoying. Like, do your job, bro. Look at these guys, they're robots for me. They're machines, bro. These guys are becoming machines. That was a pretty insane day. We're sitting on $9,000 now. That was a pretty insane day, actually. Come on, my brew. Why is there products anyway outside? Okay, we can end the day. Found products expensive. Nine clients, dude. This mod is not that good. I mean, the, the fact that it automates it is good, but it's too expensive. Like, I would rather have all happy clients, right? Because I honestly do think reputation matters in this game. I mean, there's no proof that it, that it matters, but I I think it would. Do, 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 do. Let's buy chocolate and yogurt. Where's our bleach? Yeah, we can buy bleach for sure. We'll buy four. One, two, three, four. Sounds good. Toilet pepper. Okay, four should be enough. Some cheese. Cheese. Chicken. Do we need chicken? Why is it chicken? We can get four. Right? No, we should get three. That's the most we can get. All right, so whatever is next to steak. So that's sushi large. We should just buy now. Sushi large, uh, then the beer ale. Beer. Ale. Okay, let's see here. Um, yeah, we can buy two. It's a double bleach. You son of a bleach. And the double sugar powder. Double sugar powder. And then the new toilet paper. We'll just buy two of them. I think that's another day's stock taking, dude. You see, I wanted to avoid doing this because it takes a while to stock take. 
But then what is the game, right? If I don't stock take, if I don't check out, if I don't restock, <laughs> like what am I doing? Well, I'm building the shops, so that is something. Keeping an eye on my cash here, seeing his speed increase. He's already halfway though, so it's not going to be that long still for another level. How far away is he from being upgraded? Unlock higher grade. See, this doesn't show the daily wage. So, let's see, a daily wage on the guy on the left. See, he walks 12.9, that's 13 kilometers per hour. Max level, you, he's gonna work, uh, walk 20 kilometers. See, his daily wage is 90, so we wanna make it 100 now? Sure. No, now it's 110, dude. Whatever. It's $20 a day more. Where's my other restocker? I want to see his level now. It shouldn't be just 10 because he was like more than a thousand experience more. This, that's him, level 18. So all the experience he gained just got exploded into the next level. So you never lose experience, by the way. That's, that's pretty cool. And just in theory, I would rather pay a guy to, uh, $20 more and he walk, uh, works that much faster than paying another guy. The tablet's too expensive, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can we press control R? That bell you hear, the dinner, dinner bell? That's the mod. I don't know if we can edit it somehow. Let's say Alt R, Shift R, Control Shift R, Control Alt R. No, I think you can edit the code. If I can make it just market price, I'll be happy. Does he think this guy works with cents? No, he doesn't. He lifts up his hand and it's done in two seconds. Now we have two guys that's gonna just work fast. Dude, this is insane. I'm just happy the experience didn't go away. I would have expected him to be like level 11. He went straight to 18, dude. Maybe one cashier is not enough. But leveling up another one is gonna take... It's gonna be a pain in the ass. That's for sure. Because 
at level one, he's twice as slow as self checkout. Thank you for the auto lights, dude. <laughs> it's so cool. Two fifty more products to go. Yeah, it's like we're giving them a wage increase every year. Like a 20% wage increase. And they work roughly 20% harder also. So yeah. That's how it feels like. Stop it with the two products, guys. What is happening? We need experience, dude. Give me one million items. Hundred more products to go, dude. Then it's gonna be level twenty. Nice. I honestly think one more cashier would, would be insane. Two level 40s, I think, would be better. Two racker boys like this should be enough. I mean, I think one of them are doing like two, two people's job, right, and together. Putting toilet paper on the other side. I mean, clients grab items from the other side. They, they don't walk in this aisle at all. I don't know why. I don't know what I did. It's level 29, dude. So I think that was the last client. We'll just double check. Yeah, it looks like it. And we're sitting on 12k monies again. That's crazy. So train to level up. Hmm. We're not going to do that. We need to get those, those product licenses, dude. That's going to be way more important, in my opinion. Dun, 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 dun. Boop, boop, 
Apple juice, candy. A uh, cereal. Let's get some spray. Tablet. Even though so many people complain. Hey, it's too overpriced, bro. They still buy it. Out of stock. Buy it. You know what I'm saying? So if you can't afford it, go complain somewhere else. Go complain to your boss to, buy, to pay you a better wage if you work like my workers, you know what I'm saying? It's maybe another mod we have to check up for this game. No copyright music mod. Potato? We need quite a bit of potato. Uh, red. Blue. Uh, steak. Uh, sushi. Sushi again. And another one. Hot sauce. So, ice cream. Ice cream, mayonnaise. Get the ale again. Ale keg. Um, all three. So chips, hummus, and vodka. Then we have chips. We don't need. We need the flour. Don't need mushed potatoes. We can get pepper. And rice. And a uh, and sandwich. Uh... We only need one box of rice, though. How's that bleach looking? We'll buy it. Bleach, spray, and dishwash tablet. Um... Yeah, new, new toilet paper. And we still need a lot of potatoes. Like, I don't know what happened there. More potatoes, dude. Even more. So more cheese? Yeah. Okay, stock taking should be done. And then I turn around and see we have no coffee. And no red flour. And no six pack milk. Uh, 
and no rice. <laughs> I think that's a red cake, right? No? It's cheese parcel. Okay. More bee cereal. Mayonnaise. Okay, are we done now? But wait, there's more. Some smushed potatoes. And some powder. Okay, now I think we're ready. Goodness. Last day of the video. Dude, this is just it's a, it's like it's like we're playing a different game, honestly. I mean, it's still the same game, but it's like we're playing a different one. We have honey. So don't tell me two workers also is not enough, dude. <laughs> Uh, he threw it from here all the way to the peanut butter. That's what I'm talking about. Come on, let me go beep, 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 quickly, before the queue gets too full. Honestly, can't believe this. The power of these two is still not enough to stock take or to restock. Like I'm, I'm stock taking, and I'm, I'm pretty slow at that as well. <laughs> Looked really hard for auto stock take, but I feel like the the risk is just way too big to do that. So I can I can add that auto buy thing in again, but there's a big problem. Like, I don't want it in checkout. I want it to buy by itself. Because how that works is, if the final product is used or off the shelf, it will buy the next, uh, it would buy it. It would put it on, in the checkout. So it's not really stock taking. It's more like, oh, the, the product is empty. I can buy one. So, yeah, it's not really that good. Experience goes up pretty fast, as long as they buy a lot. $144, thank you, man. Goodness, is he balancing it? All those boxes. Toilet paper is too expensive. Well, there's there, there's luckily two different ones.
Du, du, du. You can clearly see the level 29 is so much faster than the level 19. Goodness. Like a machine gun, dude. Skibidi pa 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 pa. So even if we forget to upgrade, the experience carries over to the next level anyway. So it's not like it matters too much. Thank you for switching it on, Ghost. To think in level wise, we're halfway with the game, but in product wise, we're nowhere near halfway, I think. What? Those boxes just spawned in the reflection. Dude, he goes so fast, actually. Did anyone complain today that uh, the lines are full? Someone's about to, come on. FBI open up. Why are so many people queuing by the South Checker? Huh? You want to see a professional at the work? Stand in the other queue, man. <laughs> So slow, dude. Am I 100% sure this is everyone? Never mind, dude. That bitch is like, are you sure? Fine. Why so much ice cream? Are you sad? 
I can make it better. Come here. You know what I'm saying? Nice products went up in value. That's what I'm talking about. Management. So I'm going to switch that on also for that guy. Maybe he dropped his boxes now. I'm fairly certain he did. Here. What? One of the boxes from this shelf shot into his hands, dude. He used his force. That was crazy. That's eggs, peanut butter, flour, spaghetti. We need the green cool drink. Okay, what is the red flower? Florine flower, right? We just need one of those, not two. Did I buy- I, dude, I swear I bought coffee. And I swear I bought spaghetti. Candy. Uh, cereal, chocolate. Why not just chocolate cereal, huh? So many boxes, dude. Oh my goodness, that's crazy. Okay, honey. Do you know we're still fine? We can buy some eggs. Potato bag, but double check. Yeah. We can buy actually two more. So cheese. I did buy honey, right? We'll just buy honey again. Okay, so eggs, pasta, brown sugar. I believe that's tea. Oh, it's below tea. But we'll buy tea also. So large sushi. Then that is hot sauce, hot sauce, ketchup, um, hummus, vodka, uh, chips and red flour. The new bleach.
Um, I mean, sure. We'll buy the green one. The new toilet paper. And dishwash soap. So that's all. We can buy more chicken. And white cake. And sugar. And rice. And there we go. Stock taking should be done. And uh, we'll actually continue on in the next episode. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.